and welcome to a very special episode of Let's Go Live. I'm Maddie. I'm Greg and all together now we are live. This is the Let's Go Live awards ceremony where we'll be celebrating 50 episodes of the show but not only that we've also had over 2 million plays on the show now. What? That is amazing. That is absolutely incredible. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who has come and joined us in our little <laughs> corner of the internet in our spare room here. Mm -hmm. uh, each of those 50 shows, as you know, has been packed full of fun and facts and games and quizzes and science and most importantly, you. In fact, before we crack on with the award ceremony, let's say hello to some of you who are in the live chat this morning. But of course, hello if you're watching later as well. Hi. All right, we've got Gia in Wales. We have Nora in Bournemouth. We've got Sam Rat in London. We have Anna and Toby in Paris. We've got Sarah from Kilkenny. We have Zainab, Raya, Abdur and Yaya in Saudi. We have Lola in Nottingham. And we have Maria in Darlington. There's so many of you watching live. Hello and everyone watching back as well. Yes. Um, I think what is just unbelievable is that over the past 50 shows we have covered 10 themes which is amazing and yeah. we would love to know what your favorite theme was mm, yeah uh, let us know what your favorite is let's run through them quickly we started with garden week then brilliant bodies then it was mission space dino week project earth mini makers ocean week Magic Week, Theme Parks, and Extreme, Extreme Explorers! Explorers. <laughs> uh, and that doesn't include the special Over To You episode and that behind the scenes of the Spare Room Studio. Yes, there were cheeky ones as well that were thrown in there. But let us know in the live chat which theme stood out for you. Um, and we'll read some of them a little bit later. So here is how the Let's Go Live award ceremony is going to work. There are five categories. The first one is your favourite make. The next is our silliest costume. Costume. Yeah, then it's your favourite science demo. <laughs> then we have Best Dave. Brilliant round. Uh, and finally, your funniest moment. We narrowed it down to a short list of four finalists for each category, but we turned to you to vote for the winners. Yeah, hundreds of you voted on Twitter and also online, but... Before we announce the finalists and reveal the winner of the first category, <laughs> uh, we also invited you to send us videos of your yeah. favourite moments. And we have absolutely loved watching them. As always, we have done our best to squeeze in as many as we possibly can. Um, and we're going to dot three videos throughout the awards ceremony mm. today. But we can tell you that every single one was fantastic. It really was. Thank you mm -hmm. so, so much. All right, let's start then with one of those videos. Three minutes of your favourite moments. Hello, let's go live. My favourite week was Food Park Week. And my favourite week was Oceans Week. I'm Abby and this is my Pirate Island pizza. We can't believe you've got a deer in your garden. I made my own fact bomb. Here, it sounds like this. <laughs> I loved it when Greg flew the leaf lower in Maddie's face. My favourite bit of Let's Go Live is the quiz dance. I really like the volcano episode. I really like the big one in the garden because it went exploding so huge. I love Paz Buzz and Papa Show. I do. I liked it when Greg was at Tyrannosaurus Rex and I also liked it when Maddie Moult was a Diplodocus. I'm Miranda and I'm Bridget and we love Trover and Juice. We like your animal videos. My favourite part of Let's Go Live was Andy coming on the show and here are some of the makes that I've made. And my favourite part of Let's Go Live was the unicorn poo in Magic Ring. This is Jonathan and his favourite part was the Enchanted Wood. Bye! I'm Sam. I'm Emma. And, and our favourite bit of Let's Go Live is when we made a poo. My favourite week was Extreme Explorers Week. My favourite week was Magic Week. My favourite one was when Maggie put her hand in a blubber glove and she put it in freezing cold water and her hand was still warm. My favourite bit was when you made a poo. He loved a fact My favourite week of wet school live was Magic Week and Garden Naviosa. Our favourite makes were the rainforest 
and the teddy zip wire. My favourite thing was the door coaster. My favourite thing was the race thrower. My favourite thing about Let's Go Live is Manny vs. Lupo and all the craft. We like your dino week best. My favourite part was when Maggie made poo. Our favourite part is the Mad Bomb! I've loved all of it, Maggie and Greg. You're amazing. Our favourite make was the puppet show and the paddle boat. My favourite episode was the coral reef one. I liked everything. Thank you, Maddie and Greg. We really enjoyed making, making a small, small solar, solar panel. panel. Thank you, Maddie and Greg. My favourite week was Dinosaur Week. Roar! <laughs> Ah, indeed, so many oh. wonderful memories. Thank you for those. Oh. And actually, lots of you have been telling us your favourite theme in the live chat as well so whilst many. that video it was playing. Coming in so, so fast. Lots of votes for theme park, lots of votes for magic. I love this one. Uh, we're a split household. Mum's favourite was Oceans. Harry was Extreme Explorer. Elizabeth was Magic Week. Wow. Henry, if Henry says that um, his is Magic Week as well. We've got Masako says Space oh, we've Week. We've got Dino. We've got lots of dinos as well. The Jones family say Theme Park Week. Oh, yeah, Joe and Tom in Ireland and Donegal say uh, Magic. Lots of love for Magic. Joe oh. and Emily said Mini Makers. So many good times. It is time for our first award of the show. Yes. Category is your favourite make. Yeah, so we picked four makes that you all loved and made in the hundreds. So every time we showed you one of these four makes, our emails were then flooded with photos and videos of you making them at home, tinkering with them and just playing with them to make them bigger and better. Let's check out those four nominees. We're going to give you the name of them. We're going to show a clip of each one. The first nominee for your favourite make is the door coaster. Come on, Greg. I believe in you. Three, two, one, launch. <gasps> We're in. Oh my goodness. Down the magma tube. Yes. Down the lava run. The steps. Oh, the funnel. It got at too much speed. Okay, okay come on. You can do it again. Go! Come on, come on, give it a nudge. There we go, there we go. Come go. on, buddy. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> the next nominee for your favourite make is bounce pads. Why did you, why did you think of it? I thought that was going wrong. It was going straight for it. <laughs> Sorry. I believe that you can. Yeah. <laughs> um, third nominee for your favourite make is the S'mores Solar Oven. S'mores are in, just need to close up the lid. Now, I just need to adjust this flap to make sure we're getting as much sunlight reflected into our oven as possible. Dink. Dink it, sink it. Mmm, <laughs> It's still warm. Mm. All right, messy pup. You have got to try this. Wow. Oh, that's making me hungry. And the final nominee is the Teddy Zip Line from Theme Park Week. Last one is the fishing line. Ready, danger, Davy, Teddy. Yeah. Go. Go. Yes. This is quick. Oh, no. Stranger the Bush. Oh, my goodness. This is so quick. Yes. We have a winner! <laughs> <laughs> we should say special shout outs go to the Coral Reef Diorama from Oceans Week and also the very first make we ever showed you, which was the recycled bottle bird feeder, because you made so many of those. <laughs> they very nearly uh, made the running. But Greg, can you please reveal the winner? OK, all right. Here is how it's going to work. Uh, you see, we had uh, close to 600 votes on Twitter, uh, close to 200 votes on, on online. So I've got to kind of do an average of the two. I've done all the maths. <laughs> Yeah. And this one, actually, Teddy Zipline came out on top on Twitter. But when you take both of them into consideration, the winner General. of your favourite make is... The, the Solar small, Oven! The Small <laughs> Solar Oven, sorry. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> wow. That one really surprised me, but I'm guessing it's, it's with all the yummy treats at the end. Uh, I've got just here a trophy which um, we award to all of you uh, for making some brilliant things over the past three months and to anyone who made a s'mores solar oven 
Thank you so much. The first winner of the first category of the Let's Go Live Awards ceremony. Okay, let's move swiftly on to what? award number two. Which was? Category is... Our silliest costume. Yeah, over the course of five live shows. 50? <laughs> 50. We get things wrong all the time. 50 live shows. We have worn our fair share of silly costumes, all in the name of science. <laughs> Let's take a look at the nominees. <laughs> and they are the Hadrosaur hat from Dino Week. And it's thought that when a Parasaurolophus was breathing quickly, it's possible that when the air travelled through the crest, it would have made a low tooting sound. To show you how this would have worked, I've actually gone and made myself a Hadrosaur horn. Here we go. Oh so. my goodness. Hang on. Let's Andy's reaction. Let's just... He's, he's happy with that. Thanks, mate. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Who's next? The second nominee for our silliest costume is the penguins. Hey! Flap your wings, put your feathers together for that group of challenges. Oh, brilliant. That's three animal videos down. We have three more videos for you. I'm holding up three fingers. No, you can't see them. Sorry. But next up, we have insects and birds. I can't use my tablet. Hang on a second. <laughs> but some birds, like penguins, they have wings, but they can't fly. Oh. oh, it's so nice to relive all this. But the third nominee is rather a late entry from Extreme Explorer mm. Week. It is the Narwhal Tooth Hoopla Headband. But uh, Greg, what animal am I being right now? <laughs> you are being a narwhal. That big horn. That's actually a tooth. But I thought that we could turn this into a type of quiz. What is the name of the fat found in bodies of creatures living in very cold environments. It's blubber, is that right? Yes. Yeah, well done. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and the final nominee in this category of our silliest costume is for me <laughs> as the original Digestive Dave. For the rest of this activity, <laughs> you will now be called Digestive Dave. Digest so I this is the liver. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Dave. I've never been so prodded in my life. Yay! So, Eat food. You're gonna oh, take on it, us on its final goes, journey. Through the stomach, into the, the into the little one, uh, into the big one. It's very hard doing it backwards. <laughs> Down here, oh, it's like some sort of crystal maze challenge. And then, oh, out the bottom. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't put the sound effects in there. You're welcome. Um, we should just say a couple of things that just missed the final four were the cow and the lion onesie, oh, also from the Over to You episode. Yeah. Um, and the time I tried to pass off my beekeeping suit as a, as a space suit. However, Greg, would you please reveal the winner? Oh, okay. <laughs> there is a clear winner of this one. Really? The winner of our silliest costumes is... The, the penguins! penguins! Yeah. <laughs> They get a certificate. They are penguins win. Silliest costume. <laughs> and uh, we would like to award this Let's Go Live trophy to anyone who enjoys fancy dress as much as us <laughs> and has had a really good giggle uh, over the past three months. Thank you. Oh, we have a lot of fancy dress. We do. So we've we connected. really do. Oh, great. Okay. Two awards down. Mm -hmm. Three awards to go. But before we reveal uh, more of your winners, we just want to take a look back at the incredible guests that have joined us uh, on Let's Go Live. We've got some more. We've got pictures of all of them here, actually. Over the 50 episodes, we've had 25 guests on the show. And we are so grateful to every single one of them for giving their time to come and meet us. Uh, our guests have answered your questions, they've told us fascinating stories, they've wowed us with performance and amazed us with their expertise. We've met authors, presenters, scientists, researchers, explorers and even magicians. Yeah, they've joined us from all over the world, they've spanned generations and they've reminded us how being curious can lead to lots of wonderful life experiences. So a huge thank you to every one of those people. Uh, we've put their names in the description box of this video. So if you do want to go search them on the internet, then you can follow their journeys and see what they're up to yeah, now. Yeah, definitely, definitely do that. Yes. All right, award number three is <laughs> on the way. Uh -huh. uh, but first, let's have another bunch of your favorite moments. I'm looking forward to this. Take it away, you lot. We love makers! My favourite moment was when Maddie first was sleeping with Our favourite part of Let's Go Life was Dino Dinner Dates with Terry the T-Rex and, and Deborah the Diplodocus. My favourite part of Maddie and Dad is making poo. I like Ocean Week the best, so I made my own ocean. 
We've loved every single episode. My favourite part was when you dissected the flower so I could see inside an actual flower. And the one makes. My name's Chloe and my favourite bit was Leaf My name's Henry and my favourite bit was constructing the Dino Reserve in Theme Park Week. The funniest bit in your show, Maddie and Greg, was when Maddie pretended to be floating on her chair in space. Whee! We love Magic Week. Space Week. My favourite bit is from Let's Go Live in all of it. We love rainbows. We love Theme Park Week and getting on Let's Go Live. Our favourite week was... of Let's Go Live with Polar Habitats. My favourite moment in Let's Go Live was Budget Week where we got to meet Colin. My favourite part was Theme Park Week and I most enjoyed making a zip wire. My favourite part was when Greg went to Mount Everest. My favourite part of Let's Go Live was when you spotted a deer in your garden. It was really exciting. Our favourite mates were the dinosaur fossil <laughs> and the teddy zip wire. I enjoyed the Pony Pony Cannon because we got to taste the different designs to see what watch best. My favourite bit of Let's Go Live was when you made um, fossils in Dinosaur Week. I loved it. My favourite episode would probably be the Levitation episode and my favourite week would probably be the Mini Makers week. My favourite make was the zip wire. The magic week because I love all the tricks she did. My favourite make was how to make Charles Brown juice. Mine was probably how to make a pit. Our favourite bit was when Maddie pretended to be an octopus. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Love that. that was fun doing that in the garden. Oh. Also, fun, educational, and silly. I think as the girls summarise, is all we've ever aimed for. We'll have that. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll take that. that. All right, it's time for the third award. It is. It is. Or category is your favourite science demo. Yes. Now for this, we counted a science demo as an activity that you could try at home mm -hmm. uh, that would explain a specific idea. Now, yes. for example, the blubber glove. The bubble right? bubble. Because it explained <laughs> insulation uh, and how polar animals deal with those changes of temperature. Yeah, there were so bubble many bubble demos that we could have picked from, but bubble we bubble. went with the four that um, we felt that you told us most often that they were really interesting or they were helpful or they were just very funny. Yeah. All right, the nominees are on their way. The first one <laughs> is Ocean's Currents. Ocean, ocean Currents. <laughs> This is going to be our model of the ocean. Uh, oh, look, you can see the steam. I've got some ice. Very cold. Do you just have to look. <laughs> okay. uh, can we see it on the camera? Let me switch to... Oh okay. my goodness, this is working so well. Cold water is more dense, so it sinks down, and yeah. hot water is less dense, uh -huh. so it rises up. And we actually see it set up a current. It's like a circular right? it's like pattern. It's like a circular current in the water, and we see that on the planet. The surface <laughs> and the deep currents all connect up together and they create something called the Great Conveyor Belt. If you travelled with one little droplet of water around the whole of the Great Conveyor Belt, it would take 1,000 years to complete that whole journey. That's yes! <laughs> that demo was fancy, wasn't yeah. it? Uh, the next nominee for best science demo is how to make a poo. We're going to make a poo. This is going to be our mouth. Saliva. And when we've swallowed it, it goes down our esophagus and it goes into our stomach. Something else gets added. There we the are. The gastric juices. And it slowly breaks it down into a mush. After the stomach, it goes to the, the small, small intestine. intestine. Just pop it on the floor. Ah! 
love this, some undigested food that is left over. So we are going to take that into the large intestine. Okay. And the last step is for the undigested food to go into the rectum. And when you go for a poo, here it is. Wait for okay. it. Let me get focused. Oh, there it is. Ah! That was... Wow. <laughs> wow. That was how to make a poo live on the internet. <sighs> we did that. We did that. <laughs> yeah, the next nominee for best science demo is the Dino Fossil Earth with layers uh, made of biscuits. Mm. We're going to make ourselves a fossil. This is going to represent what's underneath our feet. We're in the late Jurassic. So Stegosaurus and Allosaurus are having a fight and the Stegosaurus <laughs> dies. A whole load of mud tasty, comes comes down the river and goes on top of it. We're going to fast forward thousands of years. Sediment, all this mud and soil, maybe water, is heavy and it's going to push down on itself. And this is actually what forms rock. The, the, the years and years have built up on top of that, that bone, that skeleton, has pressurised it, the water's got in there and that's mineralised. A fossil is not made of bone. Okay. It's made of this really hard rock. We've got dessert for the next month, guys, I think. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and at the final nominee for best science demo is Troll Brain Juice. It's a red cabbage. No, it's, it's no. Sorry, it's a it's a troll brain. Carefully slice some little pieces. You want to add some hot water. Leave that in there for maybe sort of like an hour or so. Now we have our troll's brain juice. It's yep. time to do some experiments with it. Okay, Go splash through it. into this one. So it's purple and it goes, whoa. Whoa. Oh, it's gone red, wow. blue, green, and a yellowy color. Oh. Now you might be going, oh, magic. Actually, oh, science. No, no, this is chemistry. Yeah, some really great chemistry going on. I mean, is there really any competition here? Because I think we all know who's going to win it. If you think, you know, which demo won this, shout it out right now. Greg, please do reveal the winner anyway. Clear winner with 60% of the vote. Wow. Your favourite science demo is... How, How to, to make, make a poo. poo. Yay! I mean, of course. Of course. All right. All right, I'm going to get a little trophy. Here we go. Oh, there's a little wow, close-up. look at that. For the certificate. We would like to award this trophy to anyone who has ever made a poo using a pair of tights, biscuits and cocoa pops, but also to anyone who has enjoyed our <laughs> science demos over the past three months and has practiced being a little bit curious. There we go. Amazing, amazing. We have shown you so many different makes and yeah. demos as part of Let's Go Live. So many. So, okay. so many. Um, and like you, we've been keeping our builds mm -hmm. just in case we wanted to uh, get them out, play with them, experiment with them, or use them again in the future. Yeah, in fact, if anyone ever needs a uh, nine metre long paper chain anaconda, then we've got you covered. Don't worry. We just, have a... Just give us a call. We have a shed load of, yep. literally a shed load of bizarre props. <laughs> that we're very proud of. We'll put it um, back sleeping over there. But today we thought we would get some of our of our makes out of the Let's Go Live storage for a bit of a challenge. Yes, we're going to attempt to show you 20 Let's Go Live makes in two minutes. Okay, we are going to put a timer on the screen and we would love your participation. So please count the makes as we go along. Okay, <laughs> this is going to be fun. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Here we go. This is 20 Let's Go Live makes in two minutes. Go. go! All right, okay. So first up, we have the recycled bird feeder made with a recycled plastic bottle, bird seed, and a wooden spoon. Nice, we also made a bee hotel. Rolls of recycled paper inside a can. They love it. You might remember Space Week when we made blue rockets. It's a straw with a paper rocket on top, and when you blow through them, Woohoo! Uh, in Ocean's Week, we made a shark mask from paper plates to show you that they have rows of teeth. Ah! Uh, who forgets the ping pong cannon? These have oh. been a firm favourite. Three, two, one, done! Wow! How about uh, the raft that we made in just the other show of Extreme Explorers? Made out of twigs and nothing but natural materials. This is a bee hummer. It's a birthday card, an elastic band, and some cork. When you spin it around your head, it makes the sound of a bee! In Dino's Week, we made some crack open fossils. Crack them open. What's inside? You can find out. All right. 
Uh, you might remember in Magic Week we showed you how to make things levitate Ooh, <laughs> using nothing but a potato masher. <laughs> um, in Dino Week, we uh, we made uh, plesiosaur pebble plesiosaurs. I'm not going to make it again now, but there's his head Keep and a bit of his right. body. Keep going, okay, I need you to cover me quickly. Also, in Mini Makers, we made that small soda. <laughs> oh, small soda, Robin! You open it up, the sun cooks the stuff you put inside. What on earth just happened over there? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Who remembers the hadrosaur hat? When you blow into this, it makes the sound of a hadrosaur. <laughs> Almost okay. ish. We made a box maze from recycling. You have to put the ball through it, pops out the bottom. Hey! I've just gone and soaked a volcano in vinegar. <laughs> this normally explodes. Bounce oh, pads. Wow. Um, and here was the ocean coral Music. reef diorama. Here it is, full of different creatures made out of recycling. And now lots of vinegar that's just exploded everywhere. Wow. Uh, in theme park week, we made a spinning carousel like this with yogurt pops. <laughs> I would love to show you Digested Day. You might be able to see him in there. Oh. Probably not because he's covered in vinegar. <laughs> I've got one more for you, Mads. Okay. Quick, one for Magic Week. Five seconds. Oh, get it. You do Magic Week. Okay, levitation. Magic Week levitation. Three, two, where and quick. Oh my god! <laughs> I cannot, cannot believe nice. that. <laughs> Oh my goodness, right, you Okay, are. can I just try and explain what just happened? I tried to put the vinegar in... I tried to put the vinegar in the volcano and the lid popped off and it just has gone everywhere. It's gone all over your trousers. Uh, it now just smells of a fish and chip shop, which is I so lovely. covered in vinegar. Okay. I think we did it. Was that 20? Someone says 21 in the live chat. No. Lots of people saying 1920. Oh, we're going to have to watch that back oh and my count word. that. Did I forget anything? I don't think I forgot anything. <sighs> that was okay. a lot of fun. Right. Hey, Matt, can you ask Dave what he thinks of that last challenge? The thing is, Dave's actually backstage right now because he's really nervous because he knows that his award is coming up. Oh, it is. He's also covered in vinegar, so he's probably <laughs> going to have to have a little quick shower. <laughs> Thing is, Dave first appeared in week two and he has been a firm favourite ever since. We have dressed him up in some ridiculous costumes and yeah. we put him through some, some rather terrifying ordeals as well. So it only seemed fair, everything is also vinegar, so it only seemed fair that we have an award in his honour. So the next award category is Best Dave. And the nominees are... First one is the original Digestive Dave. <laughs> so we thought it would be a really nice idea that if you wanted to, you could sort of like scale the body parts down and you could have a go at um, printing it on your own dolls or bears at home. That is such a cute idea. Isn't it sweet? Really oh. like that idea. <laughs> <laughs> Next we have Astro Dave. Oh, Look at this. this is adorable. Here we go. This so, is um, amazing. There you go, in you go, Dave. <gasps> there he is. Oh, let's see him on the close up. So Digestive Dave now has his own jetpack. <laughs> Third up then in the best Dave category is Danger Dave. Mm. Actually, Danger D appeared in two episodes. Here's a clip from both. Ready, Teddy, go. Go on, Ted. Slight issue. Go on, Ted. Ted isn't going. Hmm. It's time to ascend Mount Everest. Do, 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 do. Well done, Danger D. And finally, we have Pirate Ghost oh. Dave, which I know wasn't able to show you just that with a ghost scope, but here it is. Take a photo or a video on a mobile phone of the object you want to be a ghost. Put the phone upside down on top of the ghost scope. Look through the eyepiece and you will see your ghost. Watch out, Greg. Pirate Ted's going to get you. There was also a Dino Dave during Dino oh, Week. He had was. a little Dino headdress. Spiky headdress. Yeah, and I think awesome. recently we did have Castaway Dave as well, but he was a little bit too late to uh, be involved in the awards. However, Greg, would you please reveal the winner? <sighs> this is the one, Maddie. <laughs> the, the, the one. This is the one. So mm. on Twitter, there was a joint tie between Danger Dave and Pirate Ghost Dave. Ooh. But online, there was a real clear winner. And when you took that into account... The winner of Best Dave is Digestive Dave. Wow! The original, the Digestive, original Digestive Dave. Dave. Well, Here we go. Best Dave is your certificate. Your certificate. Good, good, good. Your certificate, Digestive Dave. And um, here he is to collect his very own Let's Go Live trophy. Dave, thank you so much for putting up with us over the past three months. Do you have anything to say? 
very moving words. Some profound very words. Very profound. I'm just going to pop him in, moving the, uh, words from in the VIP Dave seat there. just over here. Thank you so much for all of uh, Dave's efforts. It's almost time mm. for the final award, which is mm. your funniest moment. It's a good one to end on, though. <laughs> but before we reveal the nominees for that, we'd just like to say another <laughs> quick thank you, if we can, to the Let's Go Live team. And here they are. So to Kaylee, Ed, Rob, Matt, and Kaliani, thank you so much, not only to you, but also the many other consultants who have helped us along the way. Yeah, you have made it possible for us to keep going with a bonkers number of shows we were writing and producing each week. Uh, and your help has meant that we could get more and more ambitious with each yeah. theme as well. So thank you so, so much. Yeah, I mean, thank you for putting up with our late night messages, yeah. uh, last minute requests, yeah. and also just for keeping up with our ridiculous schedule. <laughs> so we really do mean that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And yes. a big thank you to our patrons that have supported us um, throughout this. Um, genuinely, we could not have done this without you. No. So thank you. And thank you uh, for your continued support for the next stage of Let's Go Live. And I just well. want to quickly say a massive thank you to Greg, because he manages so many different things throughout these live shows. The sort of <laughs> what you're trying to balance on a daily basis is unbelievable. The way you're just running on adrenaline for three months has been amazing. But also Greg does so much behind the scenes that you won't ever know. Everything with Patreon, with partners and people that we work with, that's all down to Greg. So round of applause for him. Thank you. Just and me. you're awesome. Uh, <laughs> lots of the crafts that we come up with. Maddie's kind of developed, done her own little twist on it. Aww. You're a creative force. Uh, so are you. And you just inspire me. So thank you. That's yeah. very sweet. There we go. With that, it's time for the final <laughs> award. Got something in my eye. The <clears throat> category is Your Funniest, funniest moment. moment. We had such a laugh looking back through all of the episodes to pick the short list for this. Um, but we went with the ones that genuinely made us belly laugh normally in the middle of a live show <laughs> like when you pour vinegar up all over <laughs> yourself whilst Jack trying to carry on but the nominees are the first nominee is meteorologist Maddie versus the leaf blower hello I am meteorologist Maddie and welcome to my weather studio this is the Cumulo Nimbus. Now these, they are huge, enormous, towering clouds, but they will bring us things such as hail, storms, downpours, downpours, <laughs> and Forget the time when uh, all the tech went wrong just before the start of the show and we had the yellow focus boxes. So we've managed to bodge something together. It's using my phone, which is why you keep getting a yellow box over our face <laughs> like that, focusing on us. Don't know what I can do about that, so we're going to live with it for today. <laughs> At least we've got a camera. <laughs> and you wait till you see our props. All right, go for it, Mads. Back to oceans. It's done okay. Okay. We should have just used it. Anyway, carry on. Here we go. I don't know if I can. <laughs> so what's this about oceans? This is so funny. Okay. Why have you got a globe there, Maddie? Well, okay. All right, then. <laughs> so, <laughs> it still makes me laugh. That laughter went on and on and on. Oh. Right, the third uh, nominee for your funniest moment yeah. <laughs> is uh, that time we left some pizza cooking in the oven. <laughs> What is your extreme explorer name? You know that thing we put in the oven? Yeah. Is it still in there? It is. <laughs> Should we go and save it? In a second. Okay. Lily baked these cupcakes. I'm really sorry, team. I've got to go get this out the oven. Yeah. Okay. You, go do you do this. But he's going to go get this thing out of the oven. We completely forgot about it. All right. Um, uh, who am I going to do next? I'm going to do Lily. Lily baked these cupcakes for a rainforest. <laughs> what you didn't see was just before I came back in the room with the pizza oven, I was stood outside the door on my knees crying with laughter Greg and had to hold it, it together and I was like uh, right let's keep going through your fantastic anyway moments. sorry onwards. Right, the final nominee then yes. in your funniest moments is smell test which came from two episodes one in brilliant bodies week and the other from theme park week oh man all right here we go uh, I've got to relive this again <laughs> it is milk chocolate 
Well yes. done. Amazing job. Okay, we're going to swap for number two. That smells of Christmas. That is exactly. Let's see what this next one is. So again. <laughs> ah, load her in tonight. Load her in with the chocolate and the Christmas. Oh my. What is it? Is it fish? Yes, yeah, fish. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is something you could smell around, around the park, maybe after a big ride. Oh, <laughs> oh no, I took a big win. I took a, oh. Oh, I can smell it. It's on my hands. Is that is that vomit? Yeah. Have you got it on your fingers? Yes. Good. <laughs> so obviously, vomit isn't a, isn't something you want to smell at a theme park. Oh. You might smell it oh. after a ride. Oh, just saying. Oh. I feel like I need a minute. I'm t Carry on. That was hilarious. You very nearly did I did go actually. Very, very, I was that's the closest I've ever been on 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 live. Yeah. To vomiting. But so many of you <laughs> voted for these moments. Actually, quite a few said to us. But what about the uh, pirate uh, p shadow puppet theatre show, yes. which probably should have gone in there actually. So thank you oh, for reminding us. And yeah. also, lots of you felt that Terry the T Rex and Deborah the De Deborah Diplodocus should go in as well. Yeah. But there was only space for four. Greg, would you please reveal the winner? All right, this one is another absolute given with 50% of the votes. The winner of your funniest moment is... Meteorological Maddie! Yay! Yeah, Hang on. here it is. There's the certificate. Maddie versus the leaf blower. Funniest moment. And um, I've got the trophy here, which I will present to meteorologist Maddie a little bit later on after the show, but also to all of you for all the last we have had over the course of 50 episodes of Let's Go Live. But also, we want to present this trophy to you because many of you decided to send us reenactments of this very moment. Here you are. We're going to have snow. <laughs> it's the Orca Selfie. Let's go live was where the wonders were Dear meteorologist Maddie, thank you so much for making the weather show. Me. We thought it was hilarious. We thought it was really hilarious when we got Me. blown by the leaf blower. We watched it again and again and again. My favourite moment was um, Maddie versus leaf blower, and I'm going to reenact it as Greg. <laughs> around the UK today but uh oh there's an accumulonimbus it will bring you a lot of snow a very big shower and lots of wet <laughs> Mads Mads yeah I, what is, what's this about just hold it is this one of the face it's one of the <laughs> before the show. Him. Wow. <laughs> yes. So Finally. we have made Look, I wasn't joking about oh, the vinegar. That is either. a lot of vinegar. Oh, we'll dear. add some salt to it later. Oh that um, felt good. We have made 50 episodes of Let's Go Live, right? <gasps> um they're available. Uh, and we've also of course made a very special 50 episodes of Let's Go Live certificate available yeah. on our Patreon. Uh, here it is now. I'm going to take a peek. This is just a little thank you from us to you for supporting our lockdown show. If you can, please do print it out, fill it in and pop it up somewhere in your house or school with pride. Um, we should say it's on the Patreon page, but anybody can download yes. it. It's open and available to everyone. So follow yeah. the link in the video description. Go and grab it. We're coming towards the end of the show, but we should oh, do a, a final selfie. selfie <gasps> series one. a selfie. Yeah, I've got a Let's Go Live trophy. Okay. You've got one. Uh, Dave's got, one got his too. in the corner. We're all good. All right, you lot. After all, these are your trophies. <sighs> put someone in front of the screen. Put you all trying holding to take them up a selfie. The... Like, back a bit. There we go. That'll do. Focus. There we are. Oh, my fans We're all shot. here. It's so warm in here today. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, here we Three, go. Like this. And I'll move this oh, I'm going to hold it like that. Yeah, I'll do this. Oh, that's a great idea. Is One. It? Oh, it will. Two. Three. It's the awkward selfie for the awards ceremony. I tried. It's got to be out. I tried to harmonize. I tried. What are you doing? Nothing. It's absolutely fine. It's absolutely fine. How dare you? Um, if you do take some pictures, please do send them to us. <clears> this <throat> is us on Instagram and Twitter. Come say hi. Yes. Hi. Right, um, as we said on Monday, this isn't the end of Let's Go Live, not completely, this is just the end of series one. We're going to uh, go and have a bit of a break, we've got some other projects on the go, but also we need to prepare for our Let's Go Live <gasps> summer holiday special. Yeah, we do. Yes. We are going to be going Let's Go Live on location. Ooh, it'll be the same show you know, packed with activities, makes, quizzes, all good selfies. <laughs> uh, but the only difference is that we're leaving the Spare Room studio, we are going out into the big wide world. Yes, we are. Now, indeed, if you can think of any locations that uh, you think we should visit, especially grown-ups, if you work at a place or mm. have contacts at a place yeah. and can put us in touch with them, this mm -hmm. is our email address for the grown-ups to get in touch. Yeah. Hello, let's go live at gmail.com. Oh. Yeah, give us some ideas. Uh, also, we are continuing our best of videos that get uploaded at 11am on Fridays. Mm. Uh, it's just a bunch of our favourite activities from past themes. Uh, it goes up as a premiere, so we can be there in the live chat answering your questions. You yeah. can't see our faces, but we are there. And this answering week, as many as we can. Yeah, and this week it is best of Space Week. Uh, we're also going to be uploading lots of the individual activities from the past 50 shows. Uh -huh. All right, so they'll be popping up on the channel, uh, and we're going to work on a brand new website where we can put them put a kit list mm -hmm. instructions science experiments uh, science explanation and hopefully links to teacher resources as well yeah fingers crossed Good job. it is almost time for us to say goodbye but we do have one final video of yours these are your favorite moments and actually both of our parents sets of parents make an appearance in this too see if you can spot them my name's molly my name's Sissy, and we're extreme explorers i like you making a poo. We were making blood. We were making blood. My favourite part is learning about auctions and look, I made one. Our favourite week was magic week. Yeah! <laughs> I liked the time when you done the poo. It was just hilarious. Thanks for that idea, let's go live. It's the awkward selfie. My favourite part of Let's Go Live is Dino Week! Let's go live! My favourite memory um, is making poo. What do you make? You make some drinks. Thank you. I loved all the makes. My favourite thing was making a rainforest. My favourite bit of your shows so far was when you showed us that you saw a deer in, in your garden with your wildlife camera. Thanks, Bob! Space Week was the best for me. My favourite bit about Maddie and Greg was the penguin suit. Our favourite bit was the ping pong cannons. My favourite weeks were Digestive Week because we made a poo and Extreme Explorers because it was cool. We think it's funny when Greg eats all of Maddie's food props. Oh, hey, Greg, stop eating all the white gloves. <laughs> My favourite week was Dinosaur Week. I liked the bit where we made potions and you made that levitating feather. Favourite part of Maddie and Greg was when Greg made Maddie smell something really stinky. <laughs> Extreme Explorer! My favourite week was Ocean Week. We love it. The awkward selfie! And makes Hip Hip Hooray! Our favourite was Mimi's! On the play with the bounce pad. <laughs> Thank you for Let's Go Live. You've helped my family learn a lot. We've loved it all. I award you this trophy. Oh, I know we've said this a hundred times already this episode, but thank you so much. We have had the best, most extraordinary experience over the past three months. So you yeah. really have made it 
completely worth it. Yeah, thank it's you. It's been incredible. <clears throat> thank you so so much. Thank yeah. you more than anything. <laughs> and you. Um, <laughs> <coughs> um, we, in my throat and my eyes. <laughs> we are actually we will really miss you over the next few weeks but we are also really looking forward to bringing you something brand new which is going to be very exciting yes right let's say goodbye to a few people in the live chat okay you, who do we have with us? we have henry in korea we've got trisha in london we have olivia and jacob in peterborough we have barry in ontario we have verity and lottie in barnsley marlo in bristol we have jasper and hugo from b edge we have zayna in singapore we have got uh, hey, you in, in Korea. Korea. Um, uh, Lucy from Folkestone. Hello. Who else do we oh, have? So Any other people. names? I love. We've still got explorer names coming as well. Oh, fantastic. Hiking, was that Hiking Herbie? And Chloe and Freya in Oxford. Oh, goodness. Thank you all so much for joining us. Yeah. Um, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, mm -hmm. click subscribe. Um, and if you're on the main channel page, you better click the bell as well. Yeah. You'll get a notification every time you put up one of those best of videos on yeah. Friday. But this isn't the end because no. we'll chat to some of you in the live chat on Friday at 11am. Yeah. Indeed, and every Friday. And, and we will see you live in the summer holidays. For a little bit of a new adventure. Yes. Say it, Mads. As always, stay curious. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.